blessings from Eat Good TV, scissoring, savoring, little is much with all in it. Today we are going to cook tin corned beef steak. The tin corned beef is the star of the show and if you have high blood pressure, you use this one, the reduced sodium, the low sodium one for the, if you have high blood pressure. And this, the, both, the both of them is grace corned beef. But you can use any corned beef of your choice. So I'm making corned beef steak. So I'm gonna open the corned beef. You open the corned beef and you pour it into the bowl. And this one don't have an opener, so I'm gonna put I'm gonna remove this opener and put on this one. <laughs> just mash the corned beef together now we're gonna make it like a steak to eat with the potato so you just mash it together add any amount of pepper you like so I'm just gonna cut this piece of paper put in here but add any amount you like and this is scotch bonnet pepper very hot And I'm using garlic powder and it has no salt because the corned beef is salt about a tablespoon garlic powder tablespoon of onion powder and I put it in the description box tablespoon of Caribbean fusion all-purpose seasoning and this is very low in sodium it's good for high blood pressure to use in your food and this is Caribbean fusion and it's grilling season but it has 18 different blends so you can always use it in any one of your meat whether you're grilling cooking whatever you're doing and it's low sodium so the low sodium is good for the high blood pressure so this is a season to use for high blood pressure and one tablespoon and when you see your season clump up like this it's good it's good when you have to do like this to get out the season or do any bottle these season garden seasons are very very good because you know it makes with real natural natural stuff so one tablespoon in and then I'm gonna season this steak And I'm gonna grate some onion and some garlic put in there and some scallion add scallion and thyme and grated onion And just combine it together add two tablespoons of cornstarch or you can add flour or eggs to, just to hold it I just bring it a little closer you can add two eggs or cornstarch or flour and then just okay it's gonna hold the steak together you say you didn't get the time in the video here's the time I put it in the curry. Mm. 
now that we are finished mixing it I'm gonna put some flour and paprika just over the board and I'm gonna roll it out and cut them I'm just gonna make this steak Make sure your hands are clean. I'm just gonna what about an inch or what an inch? About one inch. And you can use the the top of the tin of the gray tin corned beef to cut it. So you can just cut them. And if you want it bigger, you can do some big ones if you want it bigger. But this is nice with for the kids with fries. You can serve them with fries. You just cut them out and you can just remove them. Just remove each of them. And just shape and fry. I'm gonna shape them and just put a little flour over it just to hold it and you're gonna fry them so that's one and then you just continue to do it until it's finished continue to remove them until you finish and for the children you just serve it with fries for adults you can serve it with whatever you want and I always just put a little flour on it I just continue them and you can make them any size you want these are larger size and you just put some flour on it put some flour on it all right then we're gonna fry them you can make them any size you want the steak to be you can make it so I have two sides here Place the steak in the pot to fry. And when one side is golden, put it on the other side. And this small one, you can serve it with fries for the children. Go with fries. I can hold the large ones too. I'm gonna fix them so they hold the large ones. Wash and peel and dice your potato. Just make it about this size. We are making mashed potato, so I'm just gonna add it to the pot. And I put one teaspoon of salt in the pot, so I'm gonna add the, the potato to the pot. So just add your potato to the pot to boil. I'm gonna serve it with the tin corned beef steak. Just testing the potato to make sure it's cooked. So I'm just gonna test it with a fork, it's cooked. Potato is cooked, so just drain the water off and place it into a bowl. So this is half a stick of butter. Jet said he wants butter. And what you want, Jet? Uh, sour cream. Butter and a little bit of milk. And a little bit of milk. Okay. So he wants butter, milk, sour cream. And, and cheese. And cheese, okay. How much sour cream? What yeah, is? Yeah, two. Two. Okay. Butter. Milk, just a little milk. Yeah. Okay, milk. This is about a half cup. Milk. 
and cheese. About four ounces of cheese, right? Mm -hmm. And about four ounces of cheese. I'm gonna serve it, this with the tin corned beef steak. So I'm just crushing this nice and hot. So whatever you want in your mashed potato, you can put it in. Whatever you like in the mashed potato. Add one teaspoon of salt to cook your broccoli and this is pink Himalayan salt. And just put the broccoli in it let it cook for two minutes and just pour the water off you're not gonna burn me up put your fries put the potato in the pot to fry we're gonna give the children potatoes I'm just frying the potatoes. I'm not doing a lot. But for two, that's enough, Jeff. That's good. That's good. All right. That's good for two. I'm going to give it a taste the mashed potato, the steak, the fries broccoli and a little bit of the the peppers and a little of the peppers let me have a taste of all this goodness it is so delicious mm -mm -mm. Jet, you're gonna love it it's so good Oh, uh, it smells good. Mm -hmm. Very delicious. And the fried. Mm. Crispy, crunchy. Crispy, crunchy, delicious, delicious, delicious. I hope you give this a try. And you like, share, subscribe. Hit that notification bell all. So you will not miss any of these good videos. And these are all new recipes. Delicious. Let me continue. It is so good. Let me just finish it up. Just finish up. Open. it is so delicious family bye from eat good tv love you wish you all the best bye